Huh? That thing? Our friend did what? 37 and 8? No. Huh, <laughs> what about them swingers? How's Marlene? The kids? Beautiful. Okay, yeah, I gotta go. Let's shop. Hey, Ray, so, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we can talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat. No, the guy with the, you know, the... but the beep the boop. Yeah, the guy with the... and the... Yeah, that guy. Yeah. I heard. So be cool, Ray. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now. Business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you can see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours. Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Let's prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street in West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it, no problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so, Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just asking. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time, this motherfucker. Mm. I'll be in touch, Nikki. Building on it. 
Hey, you Frankie, your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we can ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully he'll look after it. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line. Go to the payphone on the corner of Petrullo and Hardtack. No coin. Yeah? I'm here to see Mr. Pecorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him? Or maybe all three? It's okay, Mrs. Spear. I'll deal with this. Yeah, I'm in a life-threatening situation and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg. What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends, I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem, and you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me, I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! It's Phil Cole. Not yet, boss. 
Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's going to be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't going to push. Anthony, get in here. Boss, where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are going to meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever going to be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now, the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. See the them and the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with Pedro hey, what, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss, salve. Get up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere, like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is going to talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. Future by the throat, throttle it, and get mortgage to the head. Take no prisoners. My Bergen Dead with the Nash Mortgage. We cleared the slums and made the city unaffordable to people except go getters like you. Prestige, prestige, prestige. You can be. What are you waiting for? Hit him! Let's go! Nico, this is Pete and Marco. Guys, Nico. He's the one who's been keeping Ray from drowning a pile of shit. What the fuck is up with the diamonds? I don't know. I was just doing what Ray told me to. I didn't get where I am by believing what every schmuck told me. You ain't the type of guy to follow orders if they ain't your interest. You're a smart guy, Skipper. Shut up, Pete. I'm surprised you can even speak when your lips are always puckered up kissing my ears. Ray was helping me out with something, so I helped him with the diamonds. I ain't gonna do shit for him, though. I don't like the way he does business. It's got too complicated. Damn right they did. Dad Ice was a real fucker. Ray didn't go through the correct channels. The guy who owned the diamonds, Gay Tony, is in with the enchiladas. A lot of people said those diamonds were theirs. Tell me about it. But I don't give a shit about them other people. What I'm worried about is our revolver with getting back to Gay Tony and his connections. We got a lot riding on this meeting with the Pavanos. Want to keep relations sweet with at least one of the families that got a seat on the commission? You're gonna get a seat on that commission real soon, ain't you, boss? About time, Alden, you got some representation in the city. Don't tell me what's due to me. I've been waiting for this and working hard for this for years. All that ain't worth nothing without me. My old man, God rest his soul, didn't have the balls to bring the family to the level I got it to. I'm gonna get that seat because of what I done. Sit down next to John Gravelli if he survives that long and run all of Liberty City. The whole country, maybe. The Pavanos. Are they gonna offer you a seat then? They can't give me a seat, but they can help me get one. Ain't nobody been given a seat since the commission got me. Give him the rifle, Marco!
knew they did this. I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The motherfuckers trying to whack me at a sit down. They're trying to make off with my tribute. The fucking nerve. We're gonna ice those fucks, Nico. Pavanos, if we kill every one of them slime balls, then maybe the other families will give me their seat on the commission. Fucking Liberty City families. Get them, Nico. I'm doing my best. Yeah, well, best ain't good enough. I did my best. Made a name for the Pecorinos. Earned a lot of good money for a lot of bad people. And this happens. They try to fucking kill me! Well, at least they had the respect to do it to me. They didn't come to your home while you and your wife were sleeping. Let's make them wish they were never born! to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position, either because they know too much in my rat or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to. The only way you know is by finding that shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pecorinos, having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! Good, kid. Kept your head when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci. Who you waving at? 
Feds, I think. They always drive past it this time. Does that worry you? When you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to <laughs> slay him. Jackasses, all of them, all of you. Nice talking with Whatever. you. Whatever. You have fun. Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who really miss him. Hey! Hey! Is Mr. Pegorino around? Uh, uh sure. I I'll get him. Boss! Anthony, will you shut up? In fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. Mm -hmm. Don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry. I I'm s nice to see you, Nico. You too. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. Oh, fuck. So, listen, we got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I noticed that, that you're meeting with them. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them. Just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Listen, some of that boys are in town today. Gonna collect that piece of an old and a bookie ring. Where it is, they're at the diner in Acta. Find them and follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanas real hard, Gabish. Yeah, Gabish. Thank you. I think that guy works for the Pegorinos. God, they must be desperate. Let's lose him on the way to the meet.
I got that stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy. I hope you made him suffer. Teach him that all that is Tagarino curve. Is there a nice little haul in it for you? All right. Well, maybe you'll give me a little patient and something up the left. That's how us Italians been doing things for centuries. Good thing I'm not Italian. 